Well, it is New Year's Eve 2022 and I was supposed to have multiple videos going up today that uh, that had uh, completely different stuff in them but um, I've had a variety of uh, technical problems and uh, <laughs> and in the end I've decided I don't want to spend the whole night um, working on this stuff so I'm going to quickly record this uh, five of a kind commentary instead and I suppose that is only a fitting way to end uh, 2022 with uh, another five of a kind. I know you, you're all sick of them by now. But anyway, this one is super fun because it is hamster. And um, there was a while when uh, when hamster was just ridiculously uh, overpowered. I think it maybe was probably still during the test phase for pack three. Um, at, at level one, I think it, it gave uh, double the number of triggers it does now so you you got so much value out of it it was just like an auto buy every time um, so here I've done the standard uh, setup where I sell the uh, tamarind into to create the big carry hamster I've already got level 2 um, turtle which is uh, great and here I'm going to forego the snail for the croc because I want to try and maintain some lives prior to this I had had a um, five hamster game get to nine and they were all like big level uh, <laughs> level two or three hamsters and I spent something like 50 gold um, over the last you know uh, three or four turns rolling for the final hamster and never found it um, which the odds of that seem pretty astronomically uh, low but here we get our old friend, uh, and 2022 definitely has been the year of the alpaca. Um, and uh, uh, obviously, it, because hamster, it, hamster is really strange because it's an economy pet. Um, and as soon as you have two or more of them, you're actually earning gold from rolling. Uh, apologies if there's like uh, road noise in the background or... Um, Fire, there's a decent chance that some fireworks start going off because uh, because of it being New Year's Eve. Um, but yeah, once you start getting multiple hamsters going, you're earning gold for rolling, which is basically no different to um, you know having more gold in your team from like Swan or something else. Um, so while it doesn't necessarily seem like it, you're going to get incredible amounts of value per turn. Um, you can see here, I was down to five gold, I rolled twice, I get up to seven gold, which is going to allow me to buy the cat and then potentially buy uh, some food as well. So I think here I'm going to buy, sell the mouse um, to give me... Uh, or what, am I changing my mind? Okay, I'm going to give the chocolate to the yeah so yeah no that's right give the chocolate to the hamster buy sell the mouse get the the gold back from the alpaca and now i can buy the two free apples for plus three plus three so um i don't think alpaca is going to hang around too long once i get another cat going um the the gold economy from the hamsters plus the cat will just be more than enough to uh to to scale the team to an appropriate level because obviously hamster has no in-battle ability you know there's um okay now this roll is absolutely crazy where i get the the double cow and i think i roll once or twice looking for a pill and passing up the chicken leg is so painful when you've got um level two cat but i just forego the um the turtle i'm on seven wins as well so i don't have a huge amount of time left and here I can level up the hamster, which will give me more rolls. Um, and we're going to get the level 2 cat. And now alpaca has done its job. Um, and we can buy the 5 plus 5 plus 10 milk on the, uh, on the, the smaller hamster. The problem, I guess, at this point is um, the cats are maxing out the hamsters so quickly that... I need to be able to find another hamster before I buy this cow. So like if I use the cow now, the, the health portion of the milk will go completely to waste. So I really want to find another hamster um, that I that 
um, can, can get the real benefit from it. So thankfully here, I do find the hamster and I think I buy the skunk just for life preservation uh, purposes. And I might as well freeze the pair here because it's going to be worth, um, what would it be? Okay, I guess I don't freeze it, but it was something, it's something like plus eight plus eight, is it? Or plus six plus six? I don't know. All of the food items, to be honest, the, the, you're not going to have any problem finding good food when you've got the hamsters because you're getting so many rolls, you're going to get going to get it eventually. And here, turkey plus spino, extremely strong uh, combo. We're going to get uh, beaten very easily. Um, yeah, no, pro no problem for the turkey team there. And uh, now down to lethal, but still in a pretty good position. So sell skunk. And um, there's not really any point in buying the hot dogs here. Now we get the, the double milk onto the hamster. And we can roll once and now we're getting three gold back per roll. And we get plus 10, plus 10 from the pair. Wow, I was way off with my uh, guess. And uh, another cow. And now this hamster is going to be maxed health as well in one turn. And now we're just looking for more hamsters, possibly um, turtle as well. So there is turtle. And we can also just buy the chicken leg to get one of them as close to 50-50 as possible. I think I bought it on the lowest attack of the lot because obviously we're not getting any health from it. Level 2 Leopard, but it's not actually doing that much damage at the start of the, the turn. And it's an easy win for the uh, Triple Hamster team. Another cow, the number of cows in this. I suppose the the odds of finding cows goes way up when you've got so many rolls. But here we get the two hamsters. And now um, I can just sell turtle because I know I'm going to find um, melon in the shop naturally because I have so many rolls. And every time I buy a hamster, I'm getting more. So double milk on this on uh, this cow. Um, I could buy uh, steak here, which I guess I do, because I know I'm going to get more rolls and cheese. Um, I think I mentioned in one of the other videos that I've been buy I buy cheese a lot more often now. Um, it's but like it, I, I always think it's worth just taking it instead of trying to risk and roll for melon, because. You can one-shot stuff straight through melon, no problem. So one final turn with the cat, assuming we don't draw. It is the horror show octopus at the start, but thankfully the uh, this since we don't act, that's one of the benefits of having cheese instead of um, melon is that you can't be removed by these extremely common snipers. So we actually find another hamster in the shop here, but. Um, it's better just to start rolling for more food um, to buy. I, I did think about the canned food here. So the canned food is would be giving a reasonable buff, but it's going to go on to the weakest hamsters in the shop. So I think it's better just to roll for for stronger food. And uh, funnily enough, I don't actually find much, but we still got 17 gold, so we can keep rolling. I think I'd just buy that there to get more rolls. Yeah, that makes more sense. And here we go. Chicken leg onto the front uh, hamster. Um, might as well buy the sushi. 4-4 four, four attack onto some of them and uh, a, a decent chunk of health onto the front one as well. And I freeze the hot dog here because I want to be able to buy something. And I think, uh, does it end up hitting the cat? No, it doesn't. Okay. Good, good luck on that one. Now here I can still uh, roll three more times if I want to and sell the cat. But actually what I do is I buy the hamster because it'll let me roll once more and then I can, or twice more I guess, and then I can potentially buy another steak, which luckily on the last roll I get. So turn 16, very unusual to have a team with all steak and cheese and no pepper, lemon or melon. Um, and I was thinking for a while about the order, is it better to put the little guy right at the front um, or the double stakes at the front um, and then honestly I don't know I could go back and forth on this for ages the thing is if you put the small one at the back it can get sniped by croc but there's so many snipes like lynx and leopard it, it often doesn't matter 
and bizarrely we go against someone who is go <laughs> looks like they're going for the full salamander team but they were one short that was this is the second time that's happened where i go against someone who looks like they're going for a five of a kind man it, that would have been great if that, if that had been 5v5 to end the year i'm sure it's going to happen sooner or later though so happy new year to everyone and i uh, hope 2023 is a good one